Hey, this is Tim with Expert Power Wash, and today we have a 12-foot trailer build I wanted to show you guys. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, let's take a look. It's a little tight here in the shop, so I'll squeeze around and show you this thing. It has uh, two 390s, 5.5 gallon a minute, 3,000 PSI. Uh, this will most likely be Siamese in the future uh, for larger jobs, and then you can run two guys off of this one. Got the battery box, everything's ran really nice and clean on this thing. Electric hose reels, we'll get over there in just a second. We got another skid here that we're building that is about two thirds of the way done. A couple more things, but uh, I won't be able to squeeze through there, but I'll show you on this side. We got the uh, T filters running. Everything's plumbed up there, soap tank. We have this uh, welded across there with uh, tank supports that go through that we found that this is a little bit more sturdy than just taking the tank straps and going through the floor there's a couple other things that you can do to make these stronger if just going through the wood but uh, this design came out really nice and is going to work really well for the customer we have uh, hose reel mounts welded on to the trailer here so this was custom fabbed up we're going over here uh, we do have these things serial numbered now so kind of a cool little thing that we're, we're doing on all of our builds. This one will get a ball valve swivel. We do have one pressure washer hooked up to where it is running through the hose reel. You can snap in a uh, downstream injector onto that as well. Lots of different options as far as running the hoses on this. We have the 200 feet of soft wash hose. Uh, with the Sutner uh, 510 gun with the stainless J-Rod. Going on over here, we have the uh, Midwest Mixer. Uh, this one is kind of neat. We have the three-quarter inch uh, check valves on here and the three-quarter metering valves. So these are gonna, going to be oversized. And then we also have a uh, bleach rinse-out valve. So pointing up obviously is chemical, pointing down is going to be water. What this does is you can actually pull water all the way through this system here. Um, I've seen different designs on these things. I've seen a lot of guys just, you know, turn this off and then turn your soap off and then turn your water all the way on. That will indeed rinse out your pump, but it's not going to rinse out your check valve and your metering system. So that's the reason for having a uh, blint, uh, bleach rinse valve on here. And if you look, this is all mounted sturdy to a uh, one of our custom mounting stands. And then on the back side here, if you can see, try to get the camera back there. We have a seven gallon a minute uh, soft wash pump, heavy duty switch. It's really kind of hard to see, but it is neat how we have this set up. Everything's really compact. The hoses are run, running really nice up into the tank. We're using uniseals on this. So the hose runs directly in. There is a, uh, a piece of PVC that is around the hose that holds it down into the bottom along with a slotted PVC filter to keep everything running good and clean. Going back down over here, we have the three quarter Flexilla garden hose. You can't really see it here, but we have a custom uh, hose assembly here. We have a 45 on here, but what this does is it helps the hose not kink up. Uh, this is the best way that we've found is that 45 and then custom crimped hose and then the garden hose actually hooks into that so that's about 18 inches and then it just kind of jumps into that if you look over here we have another custom hose assembly here this is three quarter with the brass and then that runs into the back there into a hudson float valve which will turn off the water as the tanks get full uh, one thing I didn't mention here is both of these water tanks are tied together. So you have the capabilities of having a 200 gallon buffer tank without all the slosh. So these are about 12 inches wide, uh, both of these tanks. Those are tied together. I'll show you there on the bottom how those are tied in on the other side. And then of course our bleach tank, 100 gallons for bleach. We used to use the 55 gallon tanks unless somebody wants that on a build, these are going to be our preferred tanks for water and bleach. So let's look at the plumbing here. 
I showed you this earlier in the video. So one inch crush proof hose, Tiger Flex that goes out to the pressure washer. We got the bypass running all neat up and over into the tanks there. Here are the tanks that are plumbed together. Good quality plumb in there. We're using high quality clamps. These clamps are six to seven bucks a piece. So these aren't your typical hose clamps that we're putting on the crush proof. And then if you look up over here, if you can see where the bypass goes in, we have high quality stainless steel, uh, half inch to three inch, uh, three eighths barbs that go in there with uh, bulkheads. We spend a lot of money on hoses and hardware and stainless screws and bolts and washers and all that type of stuff to make these things hold up and last a little bit longer. Uh, one quick thing to, to, to mention, we don't have this trailer uh, floor coated on here. Uh, this is a, an option that you can request for us to do, uh, but we've found that once you paint these things up, they start chipping away and they start looking terrible. Uh, so if this was my personal trailer and this is for another customer, uh, my personal preference would be just to leave it bare. Uh, we have the trail, the original trailer. If you look back on our videos, it is about six, six and a half years old. Now the wood still looks great on it. We actually stripped off the equipment. We used it again for a little bit and then sold it off to a friend of ours and they just use it to haul around quads and things like that. But the floor on that thing, we've had bleach spill on it. The floor is still good. The wood is still good. So you don't really need to coat these unless you want to. I mean, I think it can help and it looks good, but once it starts chipping off, it's going to be something that you're going to want to have to probably paint every year. But that's why we don't coat the floors of our trailers. They do look cool coated though. And if you want us to do it, we can do it. It'd just be a, another option. So yeah, this is a trailer. This is being picked up going out today. If you want one of these, um, I'll just call the title of this Jonathan's trailer and let me know that you would like a trailer built like Jonathan's trailer and uh, we'll get to work on it for you. you guys have a great day and have a great season.